All we're told in this question is to complete the table, so be sure to carefully read the table as well. We have to draw Lewis structures, provide the electron domain shape, note the hybridization, and sketch and name the molecular shape of each of S2O, SEF3+, and SNCl6-. The table clearly defines our plan for us, but you should note that some of the cells are pre-filled, and these give you clues as to how to proceed. For example, it's clear we only have to name the electron domain shape, not sketch it. It makes sense to solve the problem systematically, so let's start with S2O, which already has a Lewis structure drawn for us. Count the electron domains, one, two, three, with a double bond, a lone pair, and a single bond, each counting for one. So what electron domain shape do we have for three electron domains? They can avoid each other best by taking up a trigonal planar geometry. To work out the hybridization, you just need to remember that the number of orbitals used is the same as the number of electron domains, three in this case, one s and two p, so sp2. Finally, the shape is generated by superimposing the three atoms on the trigonal planar geometry and inspecting what shape the atoms describe. In this case, the molecule is bent, exactly what you'd expect from one isoelectronic with ozone. Next, SEF3+. No Lewis structure this time, we'll have to draw it ourselves, starting with counting electrons. Six for the selenium, seven for each of the three fluorine atoms, and minus one for the positive charge gives us 26 electrons to assign. Selenium is the least electronegative, furthest from the top right of the periodic table, so we choose it as our central atom. Draw bonds between the selenium and the fluorine atoms, accounting for six electrons. Next, fill the octets of the outer atoms using another 18 electrons. The remaining two left to assign are placed on the central atom. Next, count the electron domains. One, two, three, and a fourth for the lone pair. Four electron domains arrange themselves tetrahedrally around a central atom in order to minimize repulsions. SP3 hybridization is consistent with this assignment. Again, to determine the shape, sketch the electron domain geometry. Then, superimpose the atoms. The resulting shape can be described as trigonal pyramidal. Finally, SNCl6-2-48 electrons in total, made up of four from tin, 42 from the six chlorines, and two from the negative charge. Tin is the least electronegative atom, so we put it in the center and surround it with six chlorines. Six bonds use up 12 electrons, and filling the octets of the chlorines, 36 more, and all electrons are now accounted for. We have one, two, three, four, five, six electron domains, confirming the given octahedral electron domain shape. Six electron domains means we need to hybridize six orbitals, 1s, 3p, and 2d. Because we don't have any lone pairs, the shape is the same as the shape of the electron domains, so we draw an octahedral molecule. Check that you've filled in all the boxes, and you're done.